today we're at the SSAB site in Mobile, Alabama, and we're here to test a hard ice container versus a conventional container. First, we're going to show its destructive power on concrete, and then next, we're going to show it on the hard ice container and then what it can do to a conventional container. With a conventional container, it took no time for the jackhammer to puncture through this steel wall. With this wall even being a 3 16 mild steel construction. As you can see with the hard ice container, even though it's an eighth inch hard ox 450 steel, much thinner and much lighter than the conventional container, even after several minutes with the jackhammer, it still would not puncture through the hard ox sidewall of this container. We're going to drop over a 650 pound piece of I-beam in each container. With this conventional container, we dropped that 650 pound I-beam in this container and as you can see, we have two puncture marks in the floor of this conventional container. And this is a quarter inch mild steel floor. With the hard ice container, even after the 650 pound piece of I-beam dropped in the box, just some cosmetic damage to the paint and that's all we have in this box so far. And then we're going to drop a thousand pound engine block in our hard ice container. Even after dropping over a thousand pound engine block in this hard ice container, as you can see there's very little damage in the floor. Most of it is just cosmetic damage that it that hurt no integrity of this container at all. We loaded this 
hard ice container up. It's a 30 cubic yard container with these pig iron blocks. And those pig iron blocks each weigh 30 to 40 pounds each. The total weight we estimated over 100 tons of pig iron loaded in this hard ice container. The sides were bulging, but as you can see, everything is still intact. There's some scratches, but as far as the container itself, it is still a very usable container. No real damage to the container at all. I was surprised. I did not think it would stand up as well as it did because the gauge is very similar. When you have seven gauge steel, mild steel and seven gauge hard ox side by side and you're testing them and one you can't penetrate with a, with a drill, one you can't pierce with a chisel, one you can't damage and one you can, it's, it's night and day.